All right, in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at several roughing methods on the uh, turning centers. And I went ahead and arranged them in order from least to highest metal removal rate. So let's go ahead and take a look. First off, we've got uh, Prime Turning by Sandvik. And uh, based on the stats that they gave, this is doing a metal removal rate of 26.45 which is pretty good. Now here on this one, we've got a metal removal rate of 27.75, and this is more of your standard type uh, roughing tool, um, kind of like a CNMG, although this is a little bit different. And it's doing a pretty good rate right there. It's going in at uh, 236 thou depth of cut so that's really going at it and it's able to do that at 20 thou inches per revolution so the main thing that's making this one uh, rough fast is that it's got that deep depth of cut okay so now let's take a look at uh, this next one this is more like a W style um, and this one, again, it's doing pretty darn good. It's at 37.45. Um, what it's got going for it is that uh, <clears throat> high depth of cut, and it's going a little bit faster uh, inches per revolution. It has a little higher surface footage. Um, so yeah, it's really going at it. Now this next one here, they're comparing this top style um, which I think is a really good approach there. We're having that slant angle uh, with a traditional CNMG at the bottom. Now, their rates on that CNMG on the bottom are a little conservative. They're not going as fast as they could, so we don't really need to pay attention to that. I mean, <laughs> they cranked it down all the way down to a metal removal rate of like 7.51. So let's just pay attention to this one at the top which is doing really good. It's at a 39.86, and um, its depth of cut is around 100 thou, which is pretty good. That's what people typically use, but its feed rate is way up there. It's at uh, 0.079, and that is where it's kicking ass, is on that feed rate. Um, and I think that's possible based on the way they angled the cutter, how it's approaching, entering that material there. All right, now this last one, it is really gonna be kicking ass. It's got a metal removal rate of 46.08. Um, it's got a lower depth of cut, so it's got a smaller chip and it's able to feed faster due to that. Um, but what's also helping it, I believe, is that angle that approach angle on the cutter. Um, yeah, and let's watch this run. It just gets you at it. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this comparison. hope it gives you something to think about. Um, you know, try some of these different cutters and see how they work for you. And uh, have a good one.